Hey guys, what's up? One of the most misdiagnosed parts and overlooked parts is the one-way clutch that's actually mounted to your alternator. You'll get uh, engine vibrations, you'll get rough shifting, uh, you'll get uh, drive, uh, drive engine drive belt noise, all due to what most people don't even know are on their cars, called a one-way clutch. Let me show you more. So first off, Matco sells a kit for all the different tools to remove these pulleys. I bought this, cost about 100 bucks. It tells you the models of the car, cars that they work for. Uh, one thing is that uh, it only says Mercedes-Benz E300D. However, it's on most of the four-cylinder engines. So I believe why they came out with the one-way clutch is so that way when the car or the engine stops, uh, or if you're, if you're slowing down the speed of the, of the engine belt, the accessory belt, it'll actually keep the fins moving inside. Right, so when this is spinning, there's fins in there that are moving. Now what this does is it'll pull the fins with it, but when it stops, the fins can actually keep moving, hence the one-way clutch inside. There's actually a clutch in here. So when I take this, the middle of the pulley, I can actually turn. So as this rotates, it'll pull the fins with it. As soon as the belt kind of stops, the internals can still keep turning, which means A, it can cool the alternator, and B, it can continue charging without an actual drag on the engine, where if you were to try to slow down or, or, or slow down the RPM or whatnot, there would be excessive driveline vibrations and shaking. Not driveline, but accessory belt. Here's another style here. or Actually, I don't want to say another style, just a different way, different tool, different manufacturer. The reason I'm changing mine is that I get shutter during shifting, and what's happening is this is binding up. It's not moving nice and smooth. So as it's going to rotate, see it's pulling the inside here. So as, as it stops, this is actually locking up and it's, it's binding. And I can feel too, just like a pulley, when I go to turn it, it's really gritty and it bounces inside and it catches, it's not smooth. This new one, smooth as silk, moves nice and easy. You can't tell by what I'm showing you here, but I can feel it in my hands. They've been using these in cars for years. Uh, I first became experienced with them in the Porsche. Uh, also my Dodge Journey, you know, like I said, with the vibration. This is probably my third clutch now. We had 140,000 miles on the car. They last about, I don't know, 40 to 50,000 miles max that I've seen. Uh, it's something to check, all right? I don't recommend sticking a screwdriver in here and trying to pry it to see if it moves. People have told me, oh, that's how I do it. If you scrape one of these windings in here, you short your alternator, so I don't recommend doing that. You can take the belt loose, and you can use the pulley and you can move it. And when you stop the pulley, the inside should keep spinning. I'm going to go ahead and mount mine here. And I'm going to show you, I'm try to show you in the video what it looks like when it does that. Okay. I'm going to try to do some slow motion so we can see the insides. I'm going to, I'm going to move it backwards, spin it forward, and I'm going to stop. And you're going to see the inside still turn. All right. Let me see how I do this here. Well, that's it, short and sweet. How do you know if you have one of these? You'll have two styles of cap. If you look at the face of the alternator, it'll either have a black cap on it, it'll be super a super fat pulley like this, uh, or the other cap that I have on this one is more of an insert. It's more of an insert, right? But if you look at the size of the pulley with the extra nose on it, that's how you can kind of tell. The other pulleys just have uh, ribs for the belt and inside there's just a nut. This is not a nut. This is an actual uh, hex. And on this one here, it's a spline one. So that's how you can tell too, all right? So keep that in mind when you're diagnosing your own car or if you're a mechanic and you're diagnosing customers' cars, take a look at this thing, man. Uh, if you got a uh, Dodge Calibers were pretty bad at shifting pretty bad, basically the Dodge with a 2.4 engine, the engine's kind of a lackluster to begin with, but you get that extra, extra drag on the belt and, the, and that alternator pulley is locking up. So as the engine is moving back and forth and the, and the belt's moving, it's grabbing those fins and kicking it back and forth. Uh, it'll, it'll make the car run worse. It'll kind of like vibrate a little bit more. You can feel it in the, in the, in the, in the body of the car. So, uh, so I hope this helps, you know, just quick little, quick little video on, uh, on these one way clutches or alternator overdrive pulleys, whichever way you want to call it. 
So hope this helps, man. Take care. If you like this video, subscribe, and I'll hit you back later. Have a good night. Bye.